Well, this is Dave with OC Astronomy, and I'm I'm wrapping up my collimation of my telescope. Um, I think I'm pretty satisfied. I was able to use the artificial star, and you can get really, really good results with it. I highly endorse it because the star is steady. Um, you have very little atmospheric effects. Uh, every now and then, I did get a shimmer across it from a. Uh, from some of the heat that's just on off the uh, roof tiles, but overall, it's it's very steady. Um, you can definitely see the diffraction rings around the star. Um, you're able to um, to definitely tell which way to collimate the scope because since it's so steady, and uh, I have the telescope in a locked position, the motors are off, and so I know for a fact that it's not you know any kind of uh, error and I, I know which direction to turn the knobs um, and so it was it was a little tedious but that's just how it goes but I didn't have to spend a, a huge amount of time on it and I'm pretty happy with how it came out um, I'll give you one more shot around the front of the of the Bob's knobs here and uh, they were wonderful they were it was much better much much better being able to uh, tweak the results with the knobs rather than um, rather than try to use a screwdriver if I was using a screwdriver I would have gone insane uh, because I would have been so scared of scratching this nice new telescope uh, so just do yourself a favor it's $29 for a set of three knobs yeah $10 a knob is expensive you may be able to go to the hardware store and match it and get a little knob topped for your thumb screw but come on man pay Bob Bob deserves it Bob thought of a good idea go get yourself some Bob's knobs all right this is Dave uh, for OC astronomy and I now have a collimated telescope